Greetings to all. Welcome to CEC Lecture Pratikatmak Abhivyakti Series. I am Dr. Amna and with me is Madam Sonia Sharma Ji. The topic of analysis is climate change. In this lecture, we shall attempt to discuss the meaning and definition of climate change. This lecture will also present some important insights to examine various natural and human induced causes of climate change. It shall also analyze how environment is an important aspect of global governance issues in contemporary times. As we begin the lecture, let us first understand the definition of climate change. Climate change, if we go by the definition from UN.org, it refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. Climate change is therefore a long-term change in the average weather patterns that have come to define Earth's local, regional and global climates. Climate change is long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. Now, after this conceptual dive into the aspects as to what defines climate change, we now understand the difference between weather and climate. Weather reflects short-term conditions of the atmosphere. And this is going by the definitions that we get from all the textbooks, geographical textbooks. Whereas climate, when we look at from the geographical perspective, it is the average daily weather for an extended period of time at a certain location. A climate is the average weather in a given area over a period of time. The difference between weather and climate, therefore, it is a measure of time. With this, let's understand then that is what are the causes of climate change. We all know, as we just discussed, that climate change is the long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. With this, we understand causes of climate change. Firstly, there are human factors and then there are natural factors. Let's understand the natural factors. Natural factors include aspects like changes in Earth's orbit and its axis of rotation, changes in the sun's energy output, changes in the Earth's reflectivity. Natural factors also include that have an impact on climate change, volcanic activity, changes in naturally occurring carbon dioxide concentrations amongst others. With this comes the next perspective of human causes of climate change. And for that, we will refer to the theory of anthropogenic climate change. That is, human activity is responsible for climate change. They are causing most of the current changes to climate by burning fossil fuels such as coal, oil, natural gas, amongst others. So, therefore, when we talk about anthropogenic climate change, we understand the human impact on Earth's climate. Whereas, when we talk about natural causes of climate change, we focus on that is the output of energy from the sun, the ocean, natural cooling and warming cycles. A major component of anthropogenic climate change because human induced factors are most important when we try to understand climate change. 
and a major part of anthropogenic climate change is that of coming from global warming. Let us understand what is global warming. Global warming is the long term heating of earth's climate system observed since the pre-industrial period and what is that between 1850 and 1900 and what, has, what is that that it, it is due to human activities primarily fossil fuel burning which increases heat trapping greenhouse gas levels in the earth's atmosphere. Since the pre-industrial period when we go by some important data from nasa.gov uh, that is human activities are estimated to have increased earth's global average temperature by about 1 degree celsius 1.8 degree fahrenheit a number that is currently increasing by 0.2 degree celsius 0.38 degrees fahrenheit per decade now when we talk about human activities an important aspect here is burning of fossil fuels which has fundamentally increase the concentration of greenhouse gases in earth's atmosphere. What are fossil fuels? Fossil fuels any class of hydrocarbon containing materials of biological origin occurring within the earth's crust that can be used as a source of energy. Coal, crude oil, natural gas, they are all considered fossil fuels because they were formed from the fossilized buried remains of the plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. Crude oil or petroleum which also means the rock oil in the Latin terminology is a liquid fossil fuel made up mostly of hydrocarbons that is hydrogen and carbon compounds. Coal that is a solid carbon heavy rock that comes in four main varieties differentiated largely by carbon content, lignite, uh, anthracite amongst others. Now coal as we know it is extracted by two important methods underground mining that uses heavy machinery to cut coal from deep underground deposits whereas, whereas surface mining also known as strip mining removes entire layers of soil and rock to access coal deposits below. Now what is then the impact on land, air, water that is when fossil fuels including coal, oil, natural gas are drilled or mined before being burned to produce electricity or refined for use as fuel all of it leads to global warming which is an important cause also for climate change. Another important cause of climate change is that of deforestation. What do we mean by deforestation? Deforestation is clearing, destroying or otherwise removal of trees through deliberate, natural or accidental means. Now, with the end of forest cover to make land available for residential, commercial or industrial uses and purposes, deforestation is an important cause of climate change. Deforestation that is clearance, clear cutting or clearing the removal of a forest or stand of trees from land which is converted to a non-forest use, all of it impacts the issues in the atmosphere leads to air pollution which is also an important cause of climate change. Now when we see that how today our human activities have increased agricultural activities, livestock ranching, forest fires a natural cause whether it is caused by humans or nature, oil and coal mining, urbanization, desertification of land all of them are important causes of deforestation and they tell us that how human activities are responsible for not only deforestation 
but also for climate change. Loss of animals and plant species due to loss of their habitat. Lack of trees then also allows greater amount of greenhouse gases to be released into the atmosphere. Drier soil and the inability to grow crops is an important impact of deforestation which definitely is related to climate change. Without trees, precious topsoil erodes and is washed away. It is also harmful for plants that are used for medicine and sustenance. Another important cause of climate change is that of rise of new means of transport and rapid transportation. Emissions from ships, airplanes continue to grow and all of this if transport accounts for nearly one quarter of global energy related carbon dioxide emissions quoting the data from un.org. Another important cause of climate change is that of growing energy demand for heating and cooling with rising air conditioners as well as increased electricity consumption for lighting, appliances, connected devices. All of them have an important impact on climate change because of their related carbon dioxide emissions from buildings. Further, an important cause of climate change that we, do, that we must take into account as we talk about causes of climate change is that of consumerism and inequalities. Quoting the data from UN.org again, that is wealthiest bear, the greatest responsibility, that is how the richest 1% of the global population account for more than more greenhouse emissions than poorest 15 the poorest 50 percent so therefore it is essential to take into account that how rapid consumerism massive inequalities too are responsible for enabling climate change when we talk about climate change it is also essential to understand that environment as an issue entered late into the study of discipline of international relations. The work Silent Spring by noted American marine biologist Rachel Carson. This work highlighted in the year 1962 that how environment demands concerns. Quoting the remarks of Rachel Carson's the fact that every meal we eat carries its load of chlorinated hydrocarbons is the inevitable consequence of almost universal spraying or dusting of agricultural crops with these poisons. Further, again an important quote from Rachel Carson's and we quote there, by their very nature, Chemical controls are self-defeating for they have been devised and applied without taking into account the complex biological systems against which they have been blindly hunted. Further, quoting Rachel Carson's that nature has introduced great variety into the landscape but man has displayed passion for simplifying it. Thus, he undoes the built-in checks and balances by which nature holds the species within hounds. So, therefore, we have to understand that when we look at the bigger framework of global governance and international relations, because of primacy of realism, environmental issues did not get adequate importance. But however, in the post-Cold War, one finds that there has been increase in series of academic debates in international relations. Climate change today is an important place in global summits. Climate change is also very important to understand issues of north-south divide. So therefore, in the present day parlance, climate change, deforestation, soil erosion, 
desertification, loss of biodiversity, air, land and water pollution, uh, depletion of the ozone layer, all of them are very important not only for understanding environmental issues, but also they are important concepts for global governance issues to highlight that how today countries must pay attention to various issues and causes of climate change because today we have to understand that environmental security concerns also are very significant. The UNDP Human Development Report New Dimensions of Human Security also coined the term human security within the UN system. This report highlighted four characteristics of human security, namely universal, people-centered, interdependent and early prevention. It also further outlined seven interconnected elements of security and what are they? Economic, food, health, environmental, personal, community and political. Climate change is an important environmental security concern. There is an important urgent challenge for all nations to get together to work collectively to cater to environmental issues like climate change. It is also very essential that countries must reflect on the important challenges that are there because of climate change and it is also very important to work to issues that are responsible as causes of climate change. Dear learners, we hope the lecture presented to you significant insights into the important topic of causes of climate change. We look forward to positive, encouraging feedback from you all. Thank you very much.